As vibrant as COC can be, many students struggle with mental health and have a side to them that you may not see. Among these students is Irini Youssef, who lived in Egypt for 16 years but fled because women were facing discrimination. So I had to go buy men's clothes and wear men's clothes so they won't see me or I had to act like a guy walking and still got um, attacked by one of the Muslim Brotherhood with the glass. I defended it, it was my, like I was coming to my face, I defended it. I got 14 snitches on my hand. Arini is an advocate for mental health. And last month, COC received a $400,000 grant that will expand on their mental health services, which will help students so like her. The, the grant is going to help us to do more outreach, more stigma reduction sorts of things, extra trainings like mindfulness and stress management, suicide prevention trainings, that sort of thing. A huge part of that outreach is the Active Minds Club, which Irini is the vice president of. A group of really uh, uh, highly motivated, energetic students that are interested in mental health and interested in breaking down the stigma. I, won't, I don't want them to go through what I've been through. And that's, I, I wish they had that person in my life to be that for me. Irini exudes altruism that's rooted in her trauma. Her time in Egypt was everything but pleasant, so she wants to be a developmental psychologist, a voice for kids. And she has a similar hope for everyone. I just want to like, see people really able to help others, because that's what we need right now. For Canyons News, I'm Brandon Belion.